the NBA announced their Eastern and Western Conference All-Stars starters. For the West, we have LeBron James, Jokic, Kawhi, Curry, Luka. And for the East, we have KD, Giannis, Embiid, Kyrie, and Beal. The one, the one criticism that most people have that I have is Lillard got snubbed. He's third in scoring. He's leading. He's leading uh, the Blazers to the fourth spot in the West, the stacked West. We all know. We can see the records. We can see the West is better than the East. So to lead the Trail Blazers to the fourth in the West is remarkable. Third in scoring. We've all seen what Lillard has done this season. He's amazing. He's great. Uh, he's balling out again. Could have seen it coming. Luca, one of the MVP favorites. He's uh, fifth in scoring. Um, his rebound numbers are better. His assists are better. But the Mavs have been struggling. They're, I believe, 11th in the West. So they're not even in the playoff position. They're three spots behind um, the last spot, the eighth seed. So that's that's probably the one gripe I have with the list. I would have seen, I would have liked to seen Lillard start. LeBron, Jokic, Kawhi, Curry, they all make sense. LeBron. Um, 25, 8 and 8 or whatever he's averaging. He's LeBron James. We know he's the best player in the league still. Captain for the West. Jokic, MVP season, MVP contender. Kawhi is balling out. Curry, 30 points per game with the Warriors. The criticism that he got when they started 0-2 and, and they were getting blown out. He's turned it around. He's leading the Warriors into a playoff spot. So Luka for Lillard is really my only um, gripe with this list. Other than that, maybe Mitchell, he got kind of snubbed too. He's the best player on the team with the best record in the NBA. 24 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. I could see why people would want him in starter. I was looking at you know some of the other players that got selected as starters through the years. Steph Curry in 2014, he was averaging 24, 4, and 8. And the I believe the Warriors were like up there in the standings too. They might have been the best uh record at the all-star break and he was the starter so mitchell being the best player on the utah jazz averaging 24 and 4 and 5 i can see why people are saying that he should be a starter in my opinion um lillard and luca are are above him but i would not be upset if he was a starter the jazz have been playing great they won they're like on a nine game winning streak i believe they're playing the clippers right now and before that they were on 11 winning game um winning streak so out of their last 21 games, they've won 20 crazy numbers. Mitchell, if he would have been a starter, I have no problem with that. <clears throat> the one thing that's hurting Mitchell is that Steph, you know, in my comparison, Steph plays in the Bay Area, Oakland, San Francisco, bigger market. He plays for Utah. He's not on national TV as much. So that probably hurts his case for the popular vote. And that's the biggest factor in determining the all-star starters. So that's probably what's hurting Mitchell, but... Other than that, if it's if it's not Mitchell, then it should have been Lillard. And I mean, I do like Luca. He's my favorite player in the NBA, so I might be a little biased, but I do see why Lillard should be the starter. Other than that, the Western Conference All Stars all seem legit to me. They all look like worthy selections. And the East, KD, Jonas, Embiid, Kyrie, Beal. I think they got it right, in my opinion. If if you were to give me the five votes, that's who I would have picked. KD. MVP candidate, um, comeback player of the year candidate, Giannis, two-time reigning MVP, still having a beast season, still being one of the best players in the NBA. Embiid, breakout season, or not breakout because he's already been a star, but really cementing himself as one of the best players in the NBA. MVP season, he just dropped 50 today. So amazing stuff that Embiid is doing. Beal leading the NBA in scoring. Yeah, he plays for Washington, um, for D.C., but they don't have the best record. They're not in the playoffs. But leading the league, we all know what he could do. Deserves that spot. Kyrie, 28 points per game in the Nets. He's been amazing, too. Um, the only one that I think might have been able to get in was Zach Levine. He's putting up a lot of points. He's um, the main man, the only man, basically, for the Bulls. So if they would have put Zach Levine for Kyrie Irving, then I get it. But they already put B.O. in, so he's already kind of taking that spot for a player that's on a bad team but he's doing like really really good so i don't really have any gripe with the starters kd Giannis, and Kyrie, carrie bill beal they all seem like worthy starters in my opinion 
And I'm very excited to see the rest of the, le the list come out on Tuesday. Um, we'll see who gets snubbed. I'll probably make a video on that. My thoughts on who should have made the All-Star, who got left off. That'll be interesting. I'm very excited to see that.